You think they ready for this? No, they ain't ready for this. Well, guess what? They better get ready, because on this new channel, everything is going to be awesome. I mean everything. And by the time you leave, guess what? You're going to feel awesome. You ain't everything? Everything. Thank you for tuning in to meet your girl, Miss Awesome Lawson, also known as Mama Mario. And you guys, today, tonight is going to be a great show. I am eating on some salmon that I baked, some zucchini, um, some um, Cajun shrimp pasta, and some fried green beans. You know, like the ones that Fridays have. And the dipping sauce I have is honey mustard, which I've never tried with it, and blue cheese. So, um, I have some Corona on the side, and I also have some juice on the side, some um, fruit medley juice on the side, okay? With my TikTok cup, all right? So, I'm going to say my grace so we can go ahead and get into this show. Okay, y'all. So, I can't wait to dig into this because everything is going to be so good because I don't know I already tested it. Yes, I have. Should have got me a straw. Mmm. Y'all. The fried. Oh, let me taste it in this first. Honey mustard. Mmm. And you guys. Let's just take a moment of silence for. Tracy Braxton, you guys. Praying for her family and um my awesome supporters, you guys know that I had made um Trina Braxton a hookah. So I did reach out to her and tell her that I'm sorry for her loss and I'll be praying for her family. I really liked Tracy. Like, I really liked her. She reminded me of me. She said whatever is on her mind. For real, for real. So, this is how the food looks, y'all. The zucchini was frozen, so I wanted them to cook longer. But since they were frozen, so I didn't want any anyway. Mm hmm Okay. So let's get right into the show. So when I first talked to Lindsay, it was over the phone and I knew nothing about anything. I knew nothing. And she had told me that my son had been very supportive. I'm like, why? Well, when I first said, how are you? She said, okay. And I'm just like, okay. Because when anybody says okay to me, I'm wondering, like, why are you just okay? So, um, I didn't say nothing about her. I, I think I probably did say, why just okay? Or, okay, man, yeah, she was like, why y'all has been a great support? So, I'm looking like, we was on FaceTime. So, I had no idea what she was talking about. So, um, I'm trying to think after that is when, is that when I started to, like, look into things? Um, well, it had to be after that. You know, it was after we talked, but it probably wasn't just right afterwards. So, when I looked into things, I was like, what in the world is my son getting his stuff into? That was my first reaction, y'all. It really was. But, um... And I, I did feel some kind of way. Um, but then when I looked more into things, 
Um, and we met like one on. We met each other. Um, I felt a little differently. Hey, no, y'all ain't gonna ruin my whole video. You not. Mm -mm. So, when I start looking into um everything, and I've seen how um she was being caught and orphan and all of that, it kind of pissed me off because I'm looking at this guy that she used to date. They call her an orphan. And then I'm listening to someone I think is allegedly his mom say the same thing that he was saying. It kind of disappointed me because, you know, I kind of accepted what he was saying because he's young. But for someone's mother to say that, allegedly... It was like a really, it was a disappointment because, like, even though me and Mario's ex, you know, are not seeing eye to eye, there's certain things that I would just not say to her or call her because she is still the same age of my, you know, well, I'm not going to say the same age as my son, but around the same age and... That's just not right. Because if you're a friend of my son's, I would take you in like you're mine. Period. I'm going to treat you like I treat my son. Period. So, it was disappointing to hear that from someone that's pop. Go get in the cage. Go. From someone that's possibly around my age. It's like... It, it was disappointing. Because... No one has control over, um, like, what their parents, you know, decide to do with them once they're born. If they, you know, give them away, put them up for adoption or any of that. And so, to hear a mother do all of that, it was just really disappointing. Now, <clears throat> what I can say is that um, She does want counseling. She's told me that herself. Out of her own mouth. And that's awesome. That's awesome. For someone to know that, realize that, and want it. So. I told her I would assist her in that. Like finding the right therapist and all of that. And. You know, my son may need it too. He lost his, his stepfather first. They raised him for seven years. And he lost his, his dad last year. So, there's nothing wrong with counseling. They could go to separate counseling. You know what I mean? And for her to tell me that, that's very mature. But when adults say certain things that are immature than someone her age, it's just like, you know, what kind of crap is that? And, y'all, I was on live today, and somebody said, I wouldn't want to date Mario 
because this mama be too like much like something something she said like too much and i don't know if she said too much in his bit i don't know the exact words first of all my son includes me in what he what he has going on sorry that your parents don't i feel sorry for you i feel bad for you okay <laughs> Because my son wants me a part of what he goes through, whether it's his career, whether it's relationships, or whether it's just general just things that's going on in life. So, you're the one that's missing out, honey. And not only that, like I said on the live, he wouldn't want to date you anyway. So, you will get no more of my time, and that's just it. So, I know. It's real sad that people feel like your parents should be in your life. That goes to show that their parents not in theirs. I just love to show that. And you know, some guys when they um like if their father was not in their life, some of them end up being better fathers because they want to do the opposite. So you, honey, you need to do the same thing because clearly your mother is not in your life. So you need to just try to be a better mother if you decide to have kids. Because if not, you're going to be horrible. They're going to disrespect you. And they're not going to like you. Okay? Anywho. But yeah, y'all, Um, I have not been disrespected at, at all by her. At all. Nowhere near. Um, we do nothing but laugh when, um, like I come around, we laughing like a mug, like for real. And that's all it has been. So I'm glad that, you know, the, the hard times that she has been through as a young girl, just really, it, it, it has affected her, but not to where, She's just miserable and don't know how to have fun anymore. Not any of that. So that's awesome. And like I say, like, um, I have gotten more respect from her than, um, oh, can I say anyone he's dated? Well, one girl, I did like her. So I'll say almost anyone that he has dated almost okay but there hasn't been any problems thus far um mm, she's been very open about like what she has going on what has going on And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. That's how she should be. To come from, you know, the lifestyle that she's come from, you know what I'm saying? It's like, and then be in the industry where people just, you have some people that hate you, you have some people that love you. And sometimes it's hard, but I feel like she's taking it really well. And she's doing her thing. And whether it works or not, and she, she says, why do you always say that? But I just think in reality. But whether it works or not, I have said on multiple occasions that things do not have to end on a negative note they just don't a lot of times they do but they don't have to it's all about respect and that's just it and being in the industry um they both are going to be 
tried, you know, just tried. I was on her live, and people are like some straight up haters as far as with my son. They've been haters with my son, and, and I, I see a lot of haters as far as it goes with her, but that's going to be on another video, you guys, another video, because there has been one hater in particular that has been commenting up under everyone's posts, and someone has contacted me and told me who they think that it is, but that is going to be on a whole nother video, you guys. I'm not going to discuss it right now, and even when I do discuss it, I'm not going to give them I'm not going to monetize them. I'm not trying to make them, uh, I'm not trying to, um, like I said, I'm not trying to monetize them, okay, by giving them their shine and by talking about them at all. So when I talk about them on the next video or whenever I do, it's going to be briefly. And I'm going to tell you guys who I'm talking about and who that they said that um, this, that it is. And if it is that person, it is really, really sad. I really hate that she had to go through something like that and just really live in a household like that. Because for one, I don't, I, I, we don't deal with anything like that. We try to be positive. The only time I, you may see anything negative from me is when somebody has come at me. And I have been working on that really, really well. Really well, you guys. So... Y'all see the dogs is interrupting my videos. I'm feeding them some of these green beans and stuff, these fried green beans. And I done almost ate up all my meal. I had cooked them a salmon, but I don't know. I might say that for them for tomorrow because I done gave them some other stuff today. Well. Others. It's not good. Others have been more disrespectful than her. I see my nail missing. But yes, others have been more disrespectful respect more disrespectful than what she has been to me. She hasn't been disrespectful, y'all. Y'all know I don't take that. <laughs> I don't need to deal with disrespect for my own kids, yet alone someone else's. So and I don't even um, give that kind of energy unless somebody put it out. And like I said, I've been working on that as well. But what's crazy is people will know that I'm Mario's mom and they're just totally disrespectful. And one thing I can't say... Mine are not disrespectful. So y'all can say anything in the world about them. But you cannot call them disrespectful. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Um, if you get disrespectful with them, you might get it back. You might. But you started it. <laughs> like a little kid, because that's how y'all be acting. And y'all know who I'm talking about. I ain't talking about my awesome, cool, and my main supporters. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been playing this thing out just trying to really see what's going to happen. You know what I mean? And I just wanted to do this video with y'all for y'all because I haven't did a video by myself to just tell y'all, you know, what I really thought about my team. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, I almost finished y'all. Uh, oh. So. Make sure that you guys subscribe, you guys, so you can stay tuned about what's going on. 
so you can stay updated about what's going on hit the notification bell it's like right there somewhere so that way it'll show you guys when i have released the next video okay make sure that you like the video so that it can get in the algorithm and people, other people can see the video and i just want to say thank you for tuning in to meet your girl miss awesome lawson also known as mama mario and i'll see you guys on the next video also there is a new release that mario um uploaded today and guess what i'm in a video i did not even know y'all i did not even know i'm in the video we were at the house that I grew up in and Mario grew up in as well, okay? And you'll see my mom at the very end showing this big old huge bear that um that that we still have that belongs to Mario that um you know that was one for him when I was like nine months pregnant and I went to the fair and I was walking around to try to like have him to try to go in labor. And my friend that I was dating at that time wanted for me. Um, and so I still had that bear. It's a, like a big, huge Winnie the Pooh bear. And his whole nursery was decorated in Winnie the Pooh. So that's an end, like the very end where you can see my mom. You can see Grandma Mario. And you guys, you can see me, a little couple of flashes of me when I was telling about like this is the room. This is this was his room. This is my room. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. And that's where my mom still lives at right now to this day. So make sure that you check out that video. It's called Famous. It's his latest release um, under Sadie Mario. If you check on my community tab, you can um, go straight to the, you click on the link and go straight to the video. Or you can go under this, the description and I should have a link there as well to, that will take you straight to his YouTube channel. So make sure you check it out. Let me know what you guys think. And those are my nephews. Like, my, those are my nephews in the video as well. Those is partner them. Those is partners. So, once again, I will see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned because guess what? It's going to get even juicier, y'all. I'm, I'm cracking this thing up. So, peace out. And make sure that you subscribe.